Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. If your gas dryer won't heat, here are the top five most probable causes. The thermal fuse is a safety device designed to protect the dryer from overheating. The fuse is normally located on the blower housing, although some dryer models have an additional fuse on the burner assembly. If the dryer overheats, the fuse will blow and cut off the power to the burner. You can use a multimeter to determine if there is a continuous electrical path present in the part. If not, the fuse has blown and will need to be replaced. Be aware that the failure of the thermal fuse is often caused by the venting system being clogged with lint. To improve airflow, we recommend cleaning out the vent at least once a year. Gas dryers use one or more solenoid coils to open the gas valve and allow gas to flow into the burner assembly. A solenoid can fail several minutes into the drying process. If you observe the igniter glowing and then shutting off without establishing a flame, then one or more of the gas valve coils have probably failed. The igniter ignites the gas in the burner assembly to create a flame. If the igniter fails, the gas will not be ignited and the dryer won't heat. As with the thermal fuse, you can test the igniter with a multimeter to determine if it has continuity. If it does have continuity, then the igniter is probably not the source of the problem. The flame sensor detects the heat emitted by the flame. If the flame sensor isn't working, the dryer won't heat. You should test the sensor for continuity at room temperature to determine if the part is defective or not. The high limit thermostat, located on the burner assembly, monitors the dryer temperature and will shut off the burner if the dryer overheats. The cycling thermostat, normally located on the blower housing, will cycle the burner on and off to regulate the air temperature. If either of the thermostats fail, the burner may not work at all. Again, you can use a multimeter to test the thermostats for continuity to determine if the component has failed or not. For additional troubleshooting information, enter your appliance's full model number in our website's Repair Help search bar. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.